dear students in this video we will learn about the composite transformations and to have a better understanding of the concept we will take up a case case study of rotation about pivot point as you know in the previous video we have we had learned uh, about the rotation about prism now you will see that uh, this the rotation about pivot point is eventually an extension to that so let's see what are the composite transformations first so whenever we make multiple basic transformations we get composite transformations so transformations involving more than one basic transformation are called composite transformation and if we are to operate it in the form of a matrix we will get a composite Uh, matrix for composite transformation by uh, writing the uh, matrices for individual transformations in a sequence that is from right to left we will see it in a great detail first of all let's focus on the rotation about origin what is this this is a basic transformation and in the matrix form it is of the form cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta and we are if we are to talk in the terms of uh, equation we will get this set of equation hope you have a great knowledge about it in the previous videos uh, if we focus on this uh, matrix it's a 2 by 2 matrix and we learned to find out the homogenized form of these matrices in a video of uh, and dealing with this concept individually so the homogenized form of this matrix rotation matrix is this so it's a 3 by 3 matrix and it's a multiple so as we are going to have multiple transformations in a single go therefore we will have homogenized form of all the transformation matrices which will be 3 by 3 in dimension and multiplicative in nature so the rotation about origin is given by this set now if we see that this rotation will take place along this path we will be rotating this triangle along this circular path because uh, we are rotating it about the origin and origin and all the three points will be rotated about the origin this point will be rotated about the origin like this this will be rotated about the origin and this again will be rotated about the origin and we will get the rotation in this form if we have a look at it we will get the rotation to be of the form this so this will be the path of rotation if we want to rotate it in some other way like this so this will be a rotation uh, about a given point and that point will be this so this point will be known as this point about which all the three points will be rotating this will be this will be rotating in this direction and this uh, this point will be rotating in this direction and this point will also be rotating in this in this path along this path and this rotation will take place about a given point this this uh, which is called pivot point let us assume its coordinates are h and k h is the horizontal coordinate abscissa and k is the vertical coordinate called coordinate uh, ordinate now to find this we will have to do it in three steps first of all you will have to translate this triangle from this location in such a way that this pivot point coincides with origin so for this you will have to move in this direction this is the minus x direction so you will have to move minus h distance and vertically you will have to move minus k distance so overall translation will take place with translation parameters minus h and minus k this will uh, this will shift your triangle like this now in the second step you rotate it 
about the origin because this pivot point has coincided with the origin now so this rotation will also be similar as to the rotation about the origin so the second step is to rotate this triangle through the desired angle about the origin after rotation you will get like this now in the third step we will move back the triangle to its original position original position was somewhere here so for this we have to move in such a direction that this pivot point moves h distance in horizontal and y um, k distance in vertical direction and your triangle will be shifted somewhere here so this will be a translation back to the original position and the translation parameters this time will be h and k so after performing these three steps you have rotated the triangle through theta degree about the point hk to have a uh, uh, to have a cal um, matrix form of this calculation let's focus on the first transformation which is uh, rotation which is translation about minus h and, and minus k so let's write the translation matrix for minus h and minus k as the translation parameters now the second step is to rotate about the origin through desired angle through angle theta so rotation about the origin is given by this matrix note it down that first transformation is written on the right hand side and the next translation to take place is written on the left of it and the third step we rotate, uh, translate it back through h and k so the third matrix to write is another translation matrix but this time we have the translation parameters h and k instead of minus h and minus k so after combining these three matrices means after multiplication of these three matrix matrices we will get a resultant matrix which will be a 3 by 3 matrix and it is written here it's cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta and h 1 minus cos theta plus k sin theta and k 1 minus cos theta minus h sin theta at these locations of the matrices so this matrix gives you a resultant of three basic transformations so this becomes a composite this becomes a matrix of the composite transformation which will effect a rotation about the given pivot point hk so the system of rotation becomes like this so this is the uh, location of the new point after rotation this is the original original location of the point and this is the composite operation which we had uh, manipulated uh, just in, uh, just a minute before now if we find the matrix form of this equation by so multiplying it and comparing the co uh, corresponding elements we get x dash is equal to x cos theta minus y, y sin theta plus h into 1 minus cos theta plus k into sin theta similarly we have uh, the same equation for y coordinate also which is y dash is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta plus k into y uh, 1 minus cos theta minus h into sin theta so this is the equation form of the transformation the composite transformation that is rotation about a given pivot point uh, let's have an example to a uh, deep look into the case uh, let's uh, the example we rotate a point 100 and 200 these are the coordinates of the point which is to be rotated and we have to rotate it through 60 degrees and about a given pivot point which is 105 and 125 so h and k are 105 and 125 theta is 60 degree x is 100 and y is 200 so by replacing these values in the uh, in the composite matrix uh, we get this form uh, like this cos theta 
uh, is replaced with cos 60 theta here has been replaced with 60 and h and k are replaced with 105 and 125 and similarly x and y are replaced with 100 and 200 and the same thing in the form of matrix becomes this uh, I have used calculator to find out the result from this matrix which comes out to be x dash is equal to 37.548 and y dash is equal to 158.169 uh, these uh, fractional values are not valid in uh, in drawing on monitor so therefore they can be rounded off to these values so these are these are the coordinates of the new location of the point rotated through theta degree and <coughs> let's take another example uh, to illustrate further concepts this time instead of rotating a point we have to rotate a complete triangle triangle having three points p1 p2 and p3 so uh, the rotation is about uh, is through 60 degree and the pivot point is also the same as in earlier case this time we have only two additional points so to find this to solve this problem we can have this solution so rotation matrix of the composite transformation we have just studied is this and instead of writing a single column matrix for a single point we write three column matrix for three points that is we add additional columns for each point suppose this would have been a uh, pentagon then we would have a, uh, a point uh, we would have replaced this matrix with a uh, five column matrix five column matrix and each column will be <coughs> will be corresponding to a point similarly on the left hand side also we have replaced a single column matrix with three column matrix and after multiplication and comparing the corresponding elements you can get the values of x1 dash y1 dash x2 dash y2 dash and x3 dash y3 dash which will be the new locations of x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 this is just an assignment for you to calculate what they what these values come out to be uh, that's enough for the day bye for now thank you